G'day, it's Emmy here, so I thought we'd talk about Dragon Mark. So Dragon Mark is the 26th book of Sherilyn Kenyon's Dark Hunter series, a series that changes the law on vampires, werewolves, witches, and most gods in different Asian mythologies. Uh, so this one was about Ilarion and how he met his wife and how he got trapped in a, like a hellish dimension, um, trapped there for centuries before finally being freed and then turning to the dark side. The beginning half of the book was how he met his wife and how they fell in love and it was very interesting because also it was re-meeting characters that I'd just met so it was kind of furthering the information I had on them. Um, but then it turned into the recaps of all his previous books um, so I'm already very familiar with all this stuff that's happened and then I was so as I'm getting further and further into the I, like towards the end I was like but the last book ended with him betraying everyone like him going to the dark side him joining Apollo what like how how are you gonna fix that so quickly oh she did <laughs> it took like a chapter <laughs> so the last book ended on him kind of going no I have to I have to like if she if he can bring my wife back I have to join him like I need her and then and so then there's like this whole like I don't know six months maybe I was waiting and going oh what is he gonna do like I've just met this character or I met him two books ago like I'm just knowing him I don't really know much about him but what is he gonna do like is him turning to the dark the dark side going to impact much because like him versus every other character of this 26 book series who focuses on a different character every book so there's a lot of people that can stand up against him and most of them are hate apollo if not all of them hate apollo so we've got enemies that to help fight but what's gonna happen but then I get this book and it's mostly like backstory so I was like yeah, okay I'm getting how he met his wife and then I was like but what he said in previous books kind of contradicts this but then she continues on in the book and it's recapping the other books and like it's still saying what he said then but it's like look there's an explanation now but there really wasn't especially for the part where he said I believe it was a witch from her village stop um, stops because they were bonded uh, so like stop the bond so that when she died I wouldn't die but that wasn't the case at all they got spot into this um, hellish dimension and that stopped the bond so when she died he didn't and they kept the him explaining it that way and I was just like no it was a minor goddess I'm pretty sure who trapped you in this dimension so how does this make any sense about because you stopped being a part of her village way at the beginning <laughs> you like, that was way like you're just you're contradicting yourself in the book where you explained everything following the book where you said all this in the beginning it was uh, and, and then we finally get to where uh he after, right after he like ditches his brother and his brother gets stabbed he was like what? Can I focus on that now? I quite like Max. Uh, but no, 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 we get to follow him and his weird sex addiction to his dead wife. And then he gets fixed really quickly. Like, it all just gets fixed really quickly. Like, his, his wife is back from the dead, which is yay, because I kind of enjoyed her. But the explanation was kind of ex machina you know it was just she kind of pulled it out of the hat yeah. i need to bring her back i need to have a happy ending so i'm just gonna bring this chick back from the dead using this explanation yes that'll work i was just disappointed as you could have at least been a bit longer to have like a bit of like battle for him leaving apollo after apollo helped him get his wife back it just 
it could have been longer. I think that's why I was, I think that's my biggest disappointment in this book was the fact that it just ended so quickly. All this build up and build up and build up and then thook, it's ended. Um, but I really, really enjoyed the beginning bit, um, the, the background on them. Like I really, like Sherilyn Canyon does really good characters. Her, I like. I always fall in love with her characters. It's just the storyline. I think that tends to bug me a bit, um, and contradictions. Sometimes there's like grammatical errors, so that kind of goes like, "Whoa, I don't think you meant to say that." But I would definitely recommend the Dark Hunter series. I wouldn't recommend starting in this book. <laughs> uh, Twenty six in, not much is gonna make sense, but. I definitely recommend reading the series. So, that's all from me.